cyber threats, you either don't know about them or you're too afraid to learn. But today we're diving in because knowledge is power and ignorance is bliss. Just kidding. You'll be glad you watched this later. First up, worms. These bad boys can spread all by themselves without any help from humans. Think of them like a virus, but instead of attacking your body, they attack your computer or network. They can steal your data, mess with your files, or even use your computer to attack others. One famous example is the Morris worm, which infected over 6,000 computers back in the day. Speaking of viruses, they're the classic cyber threat that everyone knows about. These malicious programs can cause all sorts of chaos from deleting your files to stealing your passwords. And just like a real virus, they can mutate and adapt so you have to keep your guard up. Want to see a fun fact? The first computer virus ever was created accidentally by a programmer who was working on a code for a game. It's like a glitch in the matrix. Next up we have Trojans. Unlike viruses and worms that are hidden and sneaky, Trojans are disguised as something innocent, like a game or app. But once you open them, they can cause all sorts of damage from spying on you to controlling your computer. One infamous example is the Zeus Trojan, which was used to steal banking information from over 400,000 computers. But there's another type of threat that's even more dangerous than that. Rootkits. These are like a hacker's secret weapon. They can control your computer at a very low level, allowing them to do things like hide other threats or spy on you. And the worst part is they're often undetectable by traditional security software. One notable example is the Sony BMG Rootkit, which was found on millions of CDs and could let hackers see what you were doing on your computer. And last but not least, we have phishing. This one's a little different because it's not a software threat. Instead, it's all about deception. Hackers will try to trick you into giving them your passwords or other sensitive information by pretending to be someone else like your bank or a friend. Once they get your info, they can do things like empty your bank account or steal your identity. One big example is the Yahoo phishing scam from back in 2016 where hackers got their hands on over 3 billion Yahoo accounts. These are just a few of the many cyber threats out there. So stay vigilant and keep learning because the more you know, the safer you'll be. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.